Welcome back. CBP releasing this shocking video showing smugglers dismantling an outdated border fence near El Centro, California, and driving, as you see, right into the U.S. Here to react, retired ICE director and Fox News contributor Tom Homan. Tom, unbelievable. What do you make of this video? I, I, look, I, I'm glad you guys are showing that video because the administration's been taking a lot of heat. People are saying, especially media, well, you're not building new wall, new locations. You're just replacing existing fencing. So you can't, you got to stop saying you're building new wall. No, the Border Patrol has a plan. These original barriers grip were put in strategic locations based on data and arrest data and, and the intelligence reports from the Border Patrol. They're being beat. They're, they're dilapidated. They're falling apart. That's why the Border Patrol is replacing existing fencing with a new wall. They can't be beat because it has a lot of anti-dig technology and other things. That is exactly why the administration is doing what they're doing. So this, this, this film shows the American people that the administration has a plan. It's a strategic plan based Based on Border Patrol intelligence, are doing exactly the right thing. What needs to be done in those areas? Yeah, that's why the agents say they want infrastructure, manpower, and technology. Obviously, infrastructure would have helped here, but they've also called Tom on Congress to act to close loopholes. However, one senator running for president, Kirsten Gillibrand of New York, is taking just an opposite direction. She is introduced legislation on Wednesday that would essentially provide attorneys, a public defender, if you will, for those costs crossing our border illegally claiming asylum. I just want to give you a quick quote from Gillibrand's press release on this act saying, quote, my Fair Proceedings Act would ensure that some of the most vulnerable individuals in this process can be represented by an attorney. This would not only guarantee a more humane way to process asylum claims and other legal protections, but it would improve the efficiency of our immigration courts and help our country do a much better job of managing our immigration system. Your reaction? Well, as usual, as always, Senator Gillibrand is wrong. She couldn't be more wrong. This is, look, if, if you're going to offer these people free attorneys at government expense, Griff, do you think that's going to stop the flow or bring more people? This is another enticement. Come to the United States. We're going to give you a, an attorney paid for by the government to sue the government for the right to stay here. This is ridiculous. And as far as the efficiency in the process, this is going to slow up the court process Beyond, beyond belief. It's already taken three to five years to go through court systems. You give everybody attorney at taxpayer expense, that's going to drag out the process for a decade. This is bad. It's, it's, going, to, it's, going, it's going to hurt immigration courts. It's going to hurt the entire process. It's going to take away the efficiencies, and it's going to drive the numbers hmm. up. Obviously, she has not studied the issue or talked to any experts about that because she is wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. Well, you raise a good point. There's more than, I believe, 900,000 asylum claims backlogged, which is part of the tremendous problem of the crisis of the border. But why then, surely she is aware of this uh, situation. Why is she doing this? This is a desperate attempt as somebody who's not doing well in the campaign to throw something out because most Americans won't understand this, and that's why I'm trying to explain it. This is a wrong idea. It will do the complete opposite. It's going to drive those. You know, you think there's a 900,000 backlog? There'll be a $5 million yeah. backlog if this legislation ever got passed. It's Tom, ridiculous. I, Tom, I want to show you a picture that CBP, I retweeted this picture. It's uh, down in uh, Texas. You see in the Donna facility, this is an agent that we blurred the child's face or CBP did because this was a Central American migrant who falsely claimed to be a child's, this, this child's father. They did a DNA test and found out it's fraudulent. What do you make of this? Look, this is something that we need to talk about to the American people. When HSI with ICE did a pilot program as high as 25 to 30 percent of people reclaiming to be families were not families based on DNA testing. The fact is kids are being trafficked. Mm. Kids are being rented and given to unrelated adults. That's a free ticket to be released in the United States. That's why the loophole needs to be fixed, Griff. It's right. just not driving the numbers on the border down. It's just not enforcing the law. It's about protecting children who are being trafficked. Congress yep. needs to step up and close this loophole. Tom Homan, as always, great insight. Thanks for being here this morning. Thanks for having me, Griff.